Welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to start adding attachments to our cards. Now we're going to go inside of one of our boards. We'll go back to the list that we are creating and we're going to click on this very first card. And you'll notice that we have added one attachment and that attachment was actually a link. We can add an attachment that is a document from our hard drive and all we have to do is to click this link a Trello will give you several choices. You can actually attach something from Trello. That's actually going to be a link. Something from Google Drive, something from Dropbox, Box, or OneDrive. Now, all of these links are going to be direct links, and it will not count toward any kind of limit. Anything you upload from your computer, the limit on the size of the attachment is 10 megabytes. So if you decide to upload something from your computer, you'll click this link. Now you'll notice that we've attached three documents from our hard drive. These documents are now downloadable by anyone who has access to this card. And to link to the other resources, the process is the same. You'll click add an attachment. For example, you'll click Google Drive. Then you'll click allow. You will then choose what you want to attach and click select and then the document will then be added to your card Now you'll probably see that Trello will make the suggestion that you enable a power up however you do have access to this document through this link so you don't have to enable this Google Drive power up in order to use this document and that's going to be the same with any of the content that we actually place inside of this card Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.